As we turn to the jobs market, what explains the persistent strength there and jobless claims? Let's bring in Julia Pollack from ZipRecruiter now. Julia, before or, or maybe as part of answering that, do you guys have any kind of um, high frequency data that tells you about the labor market in the last couple of days and weeks here? Absolutely. We, we watch them minute to minute. And very interestingly, job postings online actually ticked up this week. I was expecting them to fall amid this enormous business uncertainty. And past research shows that uncertainty can have a very chilling effect on hiring. It's not happening yet. Right. Why do you think that is? So I think that while it is the year of efficiency in Silicon Valley, it's still the roaring 20s on Main Street. You know, economist Nick Bloom just came out with a fascinating study that shows that Wednesday afternoon uh, golf sessions have gone up 278% because of remote work. So there are all these shifts in demand that are still taking place and employers are rushing to adjust. So hiring at restaurants, at airports, uh, for airlines, or hotels is still very, very intense uh, and, and urgent. How soon might you expect to see fallout from the SBB collapse? Uh, or could it take quite a while, actually, for its full effects to show up? So we could see it show up in the labor market in the next few months, and that's because large amounts of banking deposits are now moving to large banks from those small regional banks that are a key source of funding for small businesses and for startups. And uh, you know, business applications skyrocketed after the pandemic, and they have remained really, really high ever since. Uh, so these new entrepreneurial small businesses are a key source of job openings and of job growth right now, uh, but they could be disrupted by this new crisis. I was going to ask because you know others have documented the overwhelming share of openings and hiring has been from small businesses. Any idea kind of of that breakdown, Julia? And if we've moved from seeing the bigger firms get hit last year to now seeing more impact on the smaller uh, players in this economy that obviously the recent bank stress would only magnify. I think this is a you know real time issue, and we we could see it in the coming weeks and months. Uh, this is this is really the, the big risk to watch. But there are others too. I mean, rising interest rates historically have hurt construct uh, employment in manufacturing, construction, uh, mining, uh, and and other interest rate sensitive industries. And uh, and we are seeing a big pullback among enterprise companies that that doesn't seem to be pausing just yet. All right, Julia, thank you. We appreciate being able to check in with you. See you soon, I hope.